Luna Percy from ESA Web TV Studios and welcome back to Earth from Space. Today, the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission takes us over Lake St. Clair. The lake sits on the border between Canada to the east and the US to the west. The St. Clair River is visible at the top of the image and flows southwards, connecting the southern end of Lake Huron with Lake St. Clair. The river branches into several channels before reaching the lake creating a seven-mouth delta. Much of the area surrounding the delta is used for agriculture. The Thames River, visible east of the lake, begins in a swampy area of Ontario before emptying its muddy waters into Lake St. Clair. Here, the murky-colored waters mix with the turquoise-colored waters from the St. Clair River, creating the fusion of color visible in the heart-shaped lake. The waters then exit the lake via the Detroit River. Lake St. Clair is approximately 40 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide, with an average depth of around 3 meters. The lake is a popular site for fishing and boating, and more than 100 species of fish inhabit the lake, including walleye, rainbow trout, and muscalonge. Detroit, the largest city in Michigan, is visible directly above the Detroit River. The city lies on a relatively flat plain and its extensive network of roads are clearly visible in the image. Detroit is nicknamed the Motor City, as it was the key hub for American auto manufacturing for over a century. It was also home to the first mile of concrete highway, the first four-way three-color traffic light, and the world's first urban freeway. In this wintry image, captured in March 2019, many of the frozen lakes can be seen partially frozen over. The Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission allows inland bodies of water to be closely monitored. And that brings us to the end of this edition. I'm Ramina Persson from ESA Web TV Studios. Thank you for watching and have a good day.